Okay, we're in exercise 11. Let's take a look here. Give me one second. Uh, get my pen out. Okay, I think we're ready. So this is about pattern recognition. And certainly the pattern we want you to recognize is this one over here. This one you're squaring three terms, okay? So looking at it, I mean, sometimes people, they make guesses at it. And, um, you know, they might say, oh, gee, this looks just like the pattern. But if you look at this thing, you got these minus signs over here, all right? So what I want to go through is it has something to do with it. There's some terms uh, or term that has a negative sign in it. So I, I would, you know, kind of look at it and realize that it's got to be something of this form. A, B, C, quantity squared. All right? And, you know, initially plan around it, certainly A squared plus B squared plus C squared, clear, clear as day. But then it got those last two terms being negative. And those last two terms certainly involve a C. So let me try this. So let's write down what you'd get then in that case. <coughs> you would get A squared plus B squared, and then I have to square the minus C, which would be pl uh, plus C squared. Then plus twice the product of A and B. Uh, let's see, the product of A and minus C, which would be minus AC, and the product of B and minus C, which would be minus BC. What does this give us? A squared plus B squared plus C squared minus 2AB minus 2, whoops, I'm sorry, plus 2AB, minus 2AC, minus 2BC. Is that what we have over here? It is. We have the A squared, we have the B squared, C squared, 2AB, minus 2AC, minus 2BC. So this is it, right over here. Look at the key, you see it over here. Now in the key, I'm also saying that what the substitutions are, if you want to use substitution. Thank you.